Let us talk a little bit about maps of sets. But before doing that, let's contrast that with another very popular data structure in Curator called Reference Set. So if you go into the Admin tab, into the Reference Set uh, uh, icon, you can actually just click on this one, Process Hatch Startup System User, and these are this is a table that simply contains the hashes that are valid uh, to be started as a system process. And this actually was automatically populated by a rule that Mutas created uh, that you let run to get the baseline of what's normal, what are the normal hashes that start a system user and that gets populated. But it's very easy to actually uh, see and manipulate. Maps offsets are a little bit more sophisticated, therefore a little bit uh, harder to actually visualize. In the Sysmon package, there is uh, there are rules that actually look for to see whether the process is genuine or not by looking at the parent process that launch the the suspected uh, process, and there is a table name process map to process parent path and the idea of a map of set is that you have a key that in this particular case is the name of the process that we want to see whether it's a genuine or not and that has two or more entries in this particular case if it's a, a win 7 will be this entry if it's a win 8 or win 10 will be this entry and and so on and so forth so so it's not a one entry that you find like you do in a reference set this is actually you need to use a key and that key can retrieve different entries in there you can have uh, you know very very sophisticated data structures and the, the question is how you visualize this. There are several ways. One that I like is actually go and use the RESTful API. So I go here on the help and go into the entry for the API. I just put the IP address and IP doc. And then I'm going to uh, work on the latest version. I go into reference data and expands that. And I'm dealing with map offsets. So what I'm doing in here, notice that uh, it tells you uh, what the status quo should be. There is no required parameters in here and there is a tryout button. Okay, If you actually click that tryout button, what this, it builds the actual API call and, and this is what you will use if you were uh, writing a RESTful API program, a Python program that needs data in Curator. It will authenticate with a with a token and then issue this precise uh, HTTPS uh, command, and it will get all the maps of sets that exist in that system. The one that we are going to use as an example is this one: process map to process parent path. So what I need to do is actually, okay, if I want to see the content of this particular reference set, I copy that entry and then I move down, expanding map of sets and click here where, it's, where it reads name. And in here, it asks me to put the path and now it's required as you can see. and I just paste the name of the table. I want to see what's in this map of set. And now I click the tryout button and here it is. And I see you know some of the data as we show in the in the whiteboard the win log on the exe has that's the key and it has this entry and this entry. This other thing is just metadata when was last seen, first seen, and who actually put it in here. So this one came as loading. Uh, a CSV table, uh, and you see for every pr every key, then you have different entries. Okay. Also, from here, you can actually insert values into the map of set. You need to specify the the, the map of set name, the one that we used before, the key 
that, that you want to add component and then what what is it that you want to add to that particular key and by the same uh, token you can actually delete entries into the actual uh, map offset table so it's not that complicated once you see how uh, how it's done it might not be as trivial as the as the uh, reference set but it's through the nice uh, RESTful API, it is actually very easy. And by the way, once you use the API on, 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 on testing and investigating what's in here, you can easily do that programmatically because this uh, interface allows you to build that particular uh, HTTPS request in case that a program from the outside retrieves that data from Curator or inserts data or deletes data.